What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we are going to actually start looking at accessibility. Now um, accessibility is essentially a feature that's uh, allowed by iOS to pretty much make it easier for um, people with disabilities to interface with apps. And what I wanted to do uh, was kind of just do an introduction to accessibility and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using accessibility but only for labels. Now, if you guys are interested in this type of content and you guys want more um, videos on accessibility, let me know. But before I jump into the tutorial, I just wanna say make sure that you head over to kiloloco.com and check out the all access membership. It's only $8 a month and you get um, full access to all my courses, the ones that I have released now, the ones that I plan on putting out in the future, and you're gonna be invited over to my Slack channel. So if you ever need help, you guys uh, reach me directly. So let's go ahead and jump into the um, jump into what we're going to be doing. Now, as you can see, we have uh, this simple app where it's just going to show these animals right here in this little table view, right? And um, right now, uh, since we're on the simulator, you actually can't interact with um, voiceover through the simulator. But what you can do is you can use the accessibility inspector. So if you go ahead and open up your spotlight and just type in um, accessibility inspector, it should come up. It's, it's this icon right here. We're going to open that up. So over here in the drop down, what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, your machine right here and we're going to drop down to simulator. We're going to select the simulator. And now when we go over to the simulator, we'll be able to see what um, voiceover would actually be reading, which elements are um, available to voiceover and you'll see what it's actually going to read right here at the top so if I select animals right here um, you're gonna see that it's gonna read off animals and heading now I also do have this um, running on my phone so let's go ahead and run this on the phone if you have a, a device you can see exactly how voiceover um, reacts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the app I'm gonna turn voiceover on I have the shortcut on voice voice of 250 Animals. All right. Heading. Voice over on. And now when I tap on dog the row, face. as you're going to hear, it's going to be reading for white medium star. Cat face. And I actually can. Cat. Three white medium star. Cat face. And as Cat. you can see, it's reading Three off, white um, medium you know, star. exactly what's in uh, that cell. Now, this is pretty good. The fact that accessibility is available to you right out of the box. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, a user can tap on any of these labels, any of these elements, whether it's the emoji, the actual name of the animal, or the stars, and get more accurate information. So that's how we're, that's what we're going to be covering in accessibility today for labels. So let's jump into the code and let's see how we can actually make it more accessible for users. So I'm going to go ahead and close the accessibility instructor uh, inspector. And what we're going to do is we have this starter project. As you can see, this is just the table view. We're actually going to go over to the cell because that's where I have access to all the labels at. And what we want to do is when we awake from nib or if you're going to be doing this programmatically, you, you could do it in the initializer or wherever you want. But essentially what you want to do is you want to um, set up some of the accessibility properties um, for each of these labels. So let's go ahead and add that in right now. All right, so as you can see, all we're doing is we're making sure that each of these elements do have um, is accessibility element set to true. Now you can do this from the storyboard, but um, when I was doing my testing, it didn't seem like storyboards was very reliable on what it was doing. But if you wanted to try to do it from the storyboard, as you can see, I have the name label selected. I'm gonna go over here to the identity inspector and down here, you can see that accessibility is enabled, but it's always nice just to make sure that it is enabled. Now we're gonna go back over to the animal cell. And what I'm gonna do is I want to make sure that I can give a hint about um, what each of these uh, different types of labels are. Like what is their purpose if somebody has a visual impairment and um, they need voiceover to read what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to give each of these um, labels their own um, accessibility hint and that will let the user know what is going on with that label.
All right, so now each of these um, labels will have their own uh, unique hint about what the label is actually representing, what information is supposed to be held in that label. So as you can see for the emoji label, I'm just saying it, uh, voiceover is going to read out emoji representation of animal. Um, for the name label, it's just going to be the name of the animal. And then for score label, the coolness score of the animal. So as you can see, you know, it doesn't need to be any proper naming or anything like that. You could just throw in whatever you want, but I'm going to say the coolness score of the animal. So if we go ahead and run this now, and what I'll do is, um, I'm going to put it on my actual iPhone so that you can see how voiceover is actually working. We can see how now, instead of just reading out the entire row, uh, voiceover is going to be able to identify individual elements of that row. All Voice right, over here we go. An animals. Heading. All right, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the actual emoji. So if I go ahead and tap Dog that. Face. Emoji representation of okay. animal. And then if I tap the name. Dog. The name of the animal. Four and wide medium the star. stars. The coolness score of the animal. So as you can see, it is giving me some better information and I can actually, uh, the, the user will actually be able to tell what each of these representations are supposed to be. Um, so not only is it going to say what is um, listed inside of that label, but it's also going to say, okay, this is what's inside of that label but also because now that i have that accessibility hint it's going to also let the user know okay this is the type of information that you're gonna that you should be expecting inside of that label now the the only other thing that i didn't really like about how it's reading it off so far is when i tap on stars four wide medium star the coolness score you see of how the it, animal. you see how it just says four medium four medium stars like a user may not understand not not that their the accessibility part uh, is it isn't clear but just saying four stars like what does that force what is that four star supposed to represent well I want to let the user know that it's four out of five stars or one out of five stars so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we on on our score label we're gonna make sure that we add an accessibility value. So this is where I'm going to decide how I want the user to understand what this, what these four stars are supposed to be, or what these five or one star is supposed to be. So let's go down here in the populate and let's add that right now. All right. So as you can see, all I did was I added this one line accessibility value. And now not only is it going to read out how many stars are inside of that label, it's going to still say four stars. But now after it says that, it's going to say, okay, four, 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 you know, medium yellow stars, whatever, right? And then after that, it's going to read this statement. And let's say there's four stars in there. So four out of five stars. So that's going to give the user a little bit more information on what these stars are supposed to be representing. So let's go ahead and run that and see how it interacts differently now. All right, here we Voice go. Voice over labels. And Animals. now Heading. if I go ahead and Okay, if I go ahead and tap on the panda. panda face. Emoji representation of an panda. The panda's name. The name of the animal. And then if I tap on the stars, five wide medium star, five out of five stars. So as the you can see, of the animal. it's actually reading out, you know, five out of five stars. And that's, that's what, that's going to give a little bit more information to the user. It, um, you know, if that's something that you want to do, let's say like if we wanted to go over to hamster, hamster, the name of the animal, and then their star count, wide, medium star, one out of five stars. You see, so the it's just a little bit more animal. descriptive. And I just wanted to show you that it's super easy to add accessibility into your project and make make these little things, these little changes to your project, which will help somebody that might be, you know, visually impaired. And, um, you know, I just wanted to start pushing for this type of content. So um, that's pretty much all that we're going to do today. A uh, very simple um, thing to accomplish. As you can see, it was only a matter of uh, a few a few extra lines that we added in here, and it 
would essentially help somebody that might otherwise not be able to use our app to the fullest. So think about adding accessibility into your app, guys. If you want more accessibility videos, let me know. This was the first one that um, I, I wanted to do. I just wanted to get it out there, see if, see if you guys are interested in it. And um, if you guys are, then I'll definitely continue doing more. So let me know. And once again, if you guys need help, reach out to me uh, at kiloloco.com slash membership. Sign up and we could get we could hook up on Slack. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you go out there and keep coding passionately.